that I got yesterday from the finance department regarding 50 departments, Speaker Sir. Proposal of budgets are very high, exceptionally high. Actual expenditure statements, absolutely low in the hills. Just a small example, Speaker Sir. Environment and forest proposal is for 2017-18 was 40.85 crore. For hill and for valley, 70.90 crore. Expenditure actually incurred was 19 crore for hills and 66 crore for valley. Speaker Sir, this is environment and forest. Forest, I think 90% is in the hills. Is the Honorable Minister Hills checking into activities that are happening in all these departments? Because the budget itself, Speaker Sir, which you are the head of, the custodian of this house, Speaker Sir, every year we get these demands for grants. And in this very document, it is very clearly stated that the hill and valley breakup is given. When the breakup is so clear, I have noticed this is the response that the Honorable Finance Minister has given yesterday as an unstart question. All of the departments in the hills is all less than 50% in actual expenditure. All. Speaker, sir, I want to clarify a few things. We are not here to mislead this house or the people in this state. So many debates have taken place that Peshadi PA, we give the money. It is the leaders who are stealing. Blame your own elected leaders. Everybody says this. I want to appeal to my brethren in the valley. We are not thieves. We have not come here to steal. Speaker, sir, I have made out a small chart. This also I would like to send across to you. As per the response from the Tribal Affairs and Hills Department, the total for developmental activities in the year 2017-18 was 108 crore. In 2018-19, it was 150 crore. In 2019-20, it was 120 crore. And 2020-21, it was 41 crore. Speaker, sir, 90% the size of the state is allocated this amount. Everybody says that we are responsible. Speaker, sir, development, 5,000 crore, as per this finance department no, report, 5,000 crore in 2017-18, 4,900 crore in 2018-19, actual expenditure. Actual expenditure 19-20 is 5,000 crore. And in 2020-21, it is 7,000 crore to actual expenditure. Sir, in the actual expenditure, when it is 7,000, 6,000, 5,000 crore, and you're allocating 100 crore for development of hills, I agree. The other departments, they have the hill valley section. No problem. Has the hill minister brought it up in the cabinet about the expenditure that is incurred? Actually, expenditure that is sanctioned at the end of each financial year. Budget is very beautiful. But when the expenditure is not done, Speaker Sir, how will the hills grow, Speaker Sir? I am sure, my honorable sir, you have given me such good time all of these years. I have never brought up this sort of tables. I have always said, please, I have requested, please, bring policies, bring policies. That paper clipping that I sent across Speaker Sir, he was one of the architects of modern day Manipur. These are the people who have built us up, who have started the so-called state of Manipur. It is never in our intention, never in our thoughts, never in our policy, to try and disintegrate the people. But emotional bonding has to go side by side with growth, sustainable, economic, consistent growth, Speaker Sir. The budget says differently. When the budget is so different, I want three supplementaries from the Honorable Minister. How many times he has raised in cabinet meetings about the expenditure of the hills? How many times has he conferred? He is also a member of the Hill Areas Committee. How many times has he conferred with the Hill Areas Committee before formulating any budgetary provision, sir? It is the Constitution, a rule book, 
which says that you have to consult the Hill Risk Committee. He is the minister in charge of hills. How many times has he consulted? Even one recommendation from me, if he has seen, I wish for him to table it in this August House. The Constitution says that he is to consult us. Has he consulted? Has he taken the recommendations? Before formulating his policies and his programs, I wish for him to lay it in the table of this House. And finally, Speaker Sir, Uh, Has he fought uh, for his... Uh, honorable member, Speaker, sir. Honorable Minister, na kumban wain ba specific point do shit at Speaker, sir, relations. like I said, one, the first supplementary is, has he ever tabled before the cabinet that the spending in the hills is too low, as per this chart? One. Number two, as per rule of law, has he consulted the Hill Areas Committee members at any point of time? about the developmental activities that he's going to take up both because that is the rule of law of this house has he ever done that and three does he intend to do it or not please regarding this tn hills the balance is and spend balance is 32 rules it is ongoing Infrastructure creations, it is ongoing pro uh, process. Honorable Minister, please answer the point. I could not remember his uh, last point. Point number one. Point number one. I could not remember his last question. Speakers, uh, no issues. First point is have you tabled before the cabinet all the unspent hill in the departments? Because Honorable Speaker, sir, he has a special responsibility. If I'm not mistaken, and I know I'm right, as per a notification of the Cabinet and Confidential, they have made the Hill Erase Committee, the line department, to be the Tribal Affairs and Hills. So since the Hill Erase Committee, the jurisdiction of Hill Erase Committee is all across the state in all those subject matters, has he ever placed before the Cabinet about the utilization of funds as per budget provisions in the hill areas of the state. That is my supplementary one. Number two is, as per rule of law, he is to consult the hill race committee before formulation of any budget, at least with regard to the hills. Has he ever done that after he became the Honorable Minister? And three, does he intend to discuss with the Honorable Members of the hill race committee? Number one, <coughs> there are different departments the concern is that concern ministers regarding the expenditure, the concern minister is the, con the concern of other departments. Uh, oh. First point is, cabinet the discussed over and high Second point is, can we so far, I never come across this expenditures discussion in the budget. Speaker, sir, if I may, I'll just take 30 seconds, there. Honorable Minister, I'll just interject. We are all part of this August House. You are present in every discussion of the budget. You know of the plan allocations. You know of the demands for grants documents. All I'm asking is, have you, as a cabinet minister representing the Hills Department, taken up in the cabinet for total spending of the allocated budget for the Hills as of now or not ever? That is all I'm asking. In the discussion, in the discussion, the budget is there, but expense discussion, I, I have not yet come across. In the cabinet agenda, it is not there how I can raise it. Speaker, sir, he is the hills minister. He is to bring it in the agenda. He is the hills minister. How will I bring? Who will bring the agenda? Will the finance minister bring the so, agenda? So anyway, let me give let me give a beautiful chance. Let us sit together. As always, Speaker, sir, I agree. Thank you, Speaker, sir. Okay.